I'm Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and we're here today to talk to Diane Bedlin, uh, Market Manager for the Ken Allen Farmers Market and it's summertime so we're going to hear about some of the spe special items they have there and the usual items that they have all the time. It's a great market. Um, so hi Diane, welcome. Hey, how are you? So tell us about what's going on at the market now and let's start with when the market is and where it is. Let's okay. get that out of the way. Uh, it's Thursdays. <laughs> it's it's every Thursday so okay. we're, we're, we're a year-round market. Okay. It's a uh, 3.30 to 6.30. Okay, and good. So people can hit it on their way home. Yep, 3.30 to 6.30. And it's at um, the Christ Church, which is right on uh, Route 8. It's a mile and a half south on Route 8 on the right Right past side. the Legion. Yeah. And that the Legion? Okay. Yeah, yeah, right on the right. right there. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So tell us about the vendors that you have. And since it's summer, you know, tell us about the yeah, products, the, the, I guess. The weather's been really good to uh, to the farmers this year. We've had just enough rain, not... <laughs> not not too much, not not too little. So there's an abundance. Right. Unfortunately, it seems like it, and whenever it's rained, it's rained on a Thursday. <laughs> which is the market <laughs> day. <laughs> which is frustrating. But we're inside. Don't forget that we're there. We're inside. Right, right. And, um, you know, we're, we're out of the rain. And we, we have had a couple days where it was sweltering on Thursdays. And we are the fair weather farmer's market. <laughs> So we go inside when it's too hot. I, mean, I don't blame you. Well, um, I had I had one vendor the other day tell me his he was outside at a market in like 20 minutes. He had a head of lettuce that that wilted. literally was disintegrating. Right. So we we're so lucky to be able to have Christ Church be so kind to us and to be able right. to go inside so we can preserve these people's uh, l l livelihoods like this. Yeah. You know, it's really nice. Um, well. I mean, it is summertime, so you're talking about abundance, you know, abundanza, you know. I mean, it is, um, th we have, one of my favorite um, things we have a lot of at the market right now is fruit. Okay. And um, we have Lockbriar that comes down from Wharton. Right. And they're uh, like a pick-your-own farm, and they do a couple of farmer's markets. So they have an incredible amount of berries. Ooh, it's okay. really cool. Well, you know, a lot of farmers, you know, like maybe do one. They have, you know, right now it's there's raspberries, blackberries, um, black raspberries, Ooh. currants, um, gooseberries. Okay. Um, so there's a you know a whole a whole plus. Strawberries are done now. Yeah, yeah. strawberries. And blueberries are, are strawberries, finishing. Strawberries, strawberries, unfortunately, because we had a pretty wet right um, and a really cold winter. It was a really short growing season for them unfortunately but yeah blueberries they're are, are on their way for, out too uh, no they're around for a little bit are they just it's been it's been pretty good weather we haven't oh, yeah, had, it hasn't been too okay, hot yep. so we've been we've been pretty fortunate and lots and lots of melons okay i mean they do they do really like the yellow watermelon as well as uh, as the pink and all different kinds of canary melon all different kinds of the uh the the, the mixes the the honeydew uh, cantaloupe and then all the pitted you know, the fruits. Right. You know, they have so many different varieties of peaches. You know, there's donut peaches, and the it just when when you when you go past there, but it's so beautiful. Right. And the smells is just oh my stomach. <laughs> you know, it's just uh, it's 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 amazing. But we have we have we also have a tremendous amount of of produce. I have three different um, produce vendors, um, and I try and have a good price point and something like for everybody. So we have. A certified organic grower, which is okay. pre Happy Gardens. We have um, uh, grown organically, but it's not certified. Right. Which is um, Cottingham Farms. Okay. Which is right outside Galena, and um, <coughs> then Lockbriar, which is uh, it's called IPM Integrated Pest Management. So they don't spray unless right. they have a huge. You know, problem. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you had the produce, and then some of this. You have specialty items there. I Yes, we have, we have. Well, actually, as far as summertime, um, one thing that we kind of sell out um, every week right now is we have fresh chicken right now. Really? So it hasn't been frozen yet. Yes. I mean, it's been, it, it was actually um, had its one bad day. Okay. <laughs> I like that one like, day, a day. Like the day, <laughs> the day of, or the or the the, right. the, 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 the day before, and uh, we're we'll have we'll have. It's a quite a bad I day. Like, I like the way. But you otherwise, that. I mean, it's right. it's pastured. It's had a very good life. It's mm -hmm. it the chickenness of the chicken. It's been able to express its chickenness. Right. And, and now it's time. It's time. So um, they. Um, 
The fresh chicken runs through probably the end of September, depending on weather, um, probably maybe into October, okay. which is really nice. That's tri Triple J Farms, and they have they also have um, pastured free range eggs. Okay, and he brings his son-in-law ha has a farm right beside him um, there in Federalsburg, and has um, a nice creamery. Oh. So we have uh, milk and yogurt through them. Okay. And um, which is really wonderful to have the fresh milk. Right. I mean, I mean, it's like, you know, the old time farmers markets, right, you know, had right. the fresh milk and eggs, you know. So That's it's, wonderful. It's, yeah. So, and we have, um, um, Cottingham also has um, eggs as well. Um, they do an organic feed. Okay. Just for people that are sensitive about, about um, that, that, that type of thing. And um, the, um, the, the, uh, other uh, dairy that that we have is Chapels. That's what and, I was going to ask. And they cheeses. do, yeah, they do the raw milk cheeses. Okay. So and and they also do yogurt okay. as well. So there's a. What about seafood? Do you have anybody that does seafood? Yeah, I have a. Um, Since it's summer and people think about eating fresh, you know, seafood. Well, there's so many stuff. places to get crab. I mean, there's. I try not to compete too much yeah. with what's here in Queen Anne's County. So I have a really interesting vendor. Um, he is called Two Oceans True Foods, and they do um, uh, something on the Pacific and something on the, okay. on the Atlantic, and it's a very sustainable um, catch method. So he does uh, salmon. Ahi tuna, nice. halibut, and um, so that's their, and, and mahi, that's their um, west coast. Okay. And then the east coast, they do um, scallops, um, uh, day scallops. Uh, okay. So, I mean, they're real fresh right, right. off the boat in, in New Jersey, and then um, whatever else they can get. Um, nice. From the day a lot of people don't there. realize that scallops, you can get them off the coast. Oh, a lot of people have no idea about that. Oh, so that's really amazing. interesting. I know, <laughs> I know. so, so, so good. Um, and then I'm trying to think. Um, the, um, my, uh, my, uh, we, we, so we have other meat. I have a, a pork farmer that she's kind of becoming like the 31 flavors of sausages. <laughs> I think she's up to like 20 flavors now. It's, it's like, how many flavors of sausages can one person have? Well, there's have? a lot of spices. But it's really, yeah, right. it's really interesting. She, she as well, um, we talked last time about how I, I like to have my farmers work together and try mm -hmm. and carry things, you know, that they have. So she uses, I have um, an, um, an olive guy that comes, so she does, a, um, he gets oh. her a really good feta, so she does like a, a Greek um, wow. style with olive and, and feta, and she has um, um, she works with uh, Robert Morrison and some other some other chefs in the area, which is really fun, and they've nice. put together um, some really nice uh, and, varieties. And, and this is I really cool. Some spicy. You know, and well, I was going to ask, will she take, like, if somebody says, you know, could you make a sausage that has, I don't know, some spice in it, you know, maybe even to that point where she would do an, a special order or something. Does she do stuff like that? She She's done exactly like that. Okay. She's had, she's, she does that for restaurants okay. all, all the time. Yeah, because I'm thinking, you know, some, I'm thinking what yeah, I like Yeah, she has an sausage. Aztec blend right now with, like, a cocoa. Ooh. That's really interesting that, yeah, it's really, she's, she... She amazes me. She just amazes me. So she comes up with so it's it's perfect for summertime grilling. Right. You know, it's something like fast and easy right. to toss on the grill with some you know really good you know grilled ve veggies and you know boom you got a you know pretty fast meal. We have um, a pierogi lady that comes and she does the same thing where she brings together different farmers then and, and makes these. She's called the rogue pierogies and she's got like thirteen different types, fourteen different types okay. of of pierogies that that she makes that she With you know. Takes different. the sausages right. and takes the onions, and um, she even has some dessert pierogies. And what what she does is was really interesting to make it more of like a takeaway food, like a like a fast food mm -hmm. item almost. Is so they're all they're all handmade. But what she does is she boils them first. Okay. So, so and then she flash freezes them. So all you have to do is saute them really quick and they'll be in a pan with a little bit of water and a little bit of oil, and okay. they're done in like eight minutes. So it's like the fast food version of a, a really healthy, a, you know, a good local right. product. So she's out of Annapolis, which is really which is really cool, and she's doing really really well. I've so it's it you know people hear farmers market and they right away think squash zucchini so there's a lot you have a lot of different things there and well, 
Ken Island, you know, has so many people that, you know, it's a bedroom community. So people that are coming home. And so trying to have people who are right. committed to local and who really want to have something healthy for their, their family and don't want to go to, you know, a fast food place mm -hmm. or something, you know, it, it, we, we've, we've tried to... Um, uh, help them out because there we right. you know I I use the Facebook page a lot to ask people what they want and you know we we, we heard you <laughs> right right and I mean the the, the soups the um, church uh, the ladies of the church do and it's actually not ladies anymore there are ladies and men that are cooking. you know that are in there cooking together they really turn it into um, to um, kind of like a, a mission it's really beautiful on um, what what they're doing and they have soups and salads now. Um, and I have um, a restaurant tour that um, sold her restaurant in Annapolis that's going to be coming. She's trying to figure out what she wants to do. She's going to kind of look at, see, maybe there's some ethnic food that we don't have oh, on the island. And try to do that something. That she wants to, yeah, oh, that she's, okay. she's getting ready to, to, to start. Um, and we have... Um, we have a really interesting um, young lady who started with us um, uh, you know, a lot of artisan people have a difficult time because they're just one person in right. a real small shop. So she saw um, a, a real need. It's called um, Sweet Leanie's Local Grocers. And so she takes the, um, the the products for these small businesses and she's bringing them into the market for really? them. Really? Okay. And she's like r repping for them, which is really nice. She's brought in... Um, um, uh, spice blends. Well, I was I was thinking that gives you more variety. Yeah. She's going to bring variety in there. Yeah, she's she's brought in spice blends, um, hummus, um, uh, these ever bars. It's like a hemp meal bar okay. that are made outside of DC. Um, a kombucha and uh, goat cheese, okay. which I've had some people that, because we have all this dairy, mm -hmm. and they say, oh, you know, I can't do cow, and that's been a so really nice... So alternative yeah, for them to yeah, offer. Yeah, it's a r r really, really nice cheese. So that's that's been a really nice, and she's always looking for somebody, you know, small. So to, she's, she's growing. Right, I mean, right. She, she's been in business for a year and is doing a really, really beautiful job. But it's it's really nice to have this like kind of you're committed to local. Here's a really you know lovely way. You're right, adding these little you know the the, the spice blends are perfect for, you know to put in combination with Kim's you know pork chops. Right, you know, right. And, you know because so she's got rubs and things like that. Exactly. So you get everybody nice. working together and you yeah, know it works really nice. Together. Yeah. But the the I have to mention I'm I am totally addicted. The olive oil guy has the most amazing, he has different flavored olive oils, and he also has, uh, um, it's a sustainable farm. I, w I was leery because it wasn't local, and I was like, well, people have to buy olive oil. Let's right. make sure that it's sustainable, and it's a small farm. It's direct trade with this wonderful family. They're so incredible, and they've just brought so much to the market. I've heard about the olive oil uh, down there. How the fun. balsamic vinegar. Yep. He has like a mango balsamic and mm. a peach balsamic now. Um, it's and he makes tapenades and he's um, uh, contracting right now. He's working uh, with a caterer to bring Greek food to the market. Oh, nice! So I'm really excited um, about that because it's we don't have anything like that. Right. Kinda, we're trying. We're not trying to compete. You know, I don't. Right. Try you, and, you need to bring in some different stuff that's going to yeah, work. Yeah. That yeah. you find the holes that are there and you fill the holes. Yeah, it's it's exciting though because there's um, you know they they see a tremendous you know they didn't even know there were this other side of the bridge and they're like oh, it's like going to Greece you know they're yeah. crossing the bridge <laughs> they were so excited you know to, to to come and they've just been such an asset and we have um, we have a pickle guy mm -hmm. that comes uh, be more dills. Um, from Eight Baltimore, <laughs> and I, man, people love their pickles. Yep. There is a line there yep. every week. It's uh, it's it, it, when when he hasn't been there a few times, people, people are right. me. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like, like, where are my pickles? Like, like, yeah, where are my pickles? I mean, it's like I want my pickles. I was like, wow, I had no idea that there was any kind of an addiction to right, pickles. Right, <laughs> I know that now. So, so not just pregnant women. You know, people. People need to come out and see all the different items that you um, that you have to offer there, and you know get a taste for all the different things because there are some different that you're not going to find at you know at a roadside stand or even in the grocery store. You're going to come across some stuff that you might not even find in the grocery store. So yeah, we have a gourmet pasta person that that comes. They're not it's not local, but it's actually probably again it was one of those kind of ideas that 
semolina is only grown right. in Italy, and there is one area or two areas, I believe, in the United States that that grow semolina. So they do source from the United right. States. So it's more local than right <laughs> other, than, than going than across going the ocean. The, and right. they have uh, gluten free options as well, and it's it's extremely extremely good pasta. We have. Um, I do have vendors that are every other week, so I mm -hmm. encourage people, because um, I hate to disappoint people, to get on the, the newsletter list, like to email okay. me. That's what I was going to get to next. How can people, you have Facebook, yes. and um, it's Ken Island Farmer's Market, mm -hmm. and you have the website, and the newsletter, they can sign up through that, through the website, and through Facebook to get on that, so they know what's... Um, what's well, through through Facebook, I put the newsletter out on Wednesdays, okay. so so it's just, right there. They'll, they'll yep. just get it. I, I try and put it out um, by Wednesday between okay. like eleven and one, something like that, depending on. So people can and I can plan. track down all right. the farmers because I do I do make a I do try and have like a shopping list for you, like right. what everybody brings to the market, so that you and know. if somebody's not going to come, and I do have some vendors that are every other week, okay, and they and they switch back and forth, so try and help. People, because I I hate. Right. When people, I had a lady come last week right. that came about I don't know 50 minutes away, and she was really disappointed because the cheese it wasn't the cheese lady's turn. Right. And she didn't get the newsletter, and you know. So what's your website? It's just KenIslandFarmersMarket.com. Com. Okay, and again, it's Thursdays from three three thirty to six thirty. And it's at the Christchurch that's next to the VF, the Legion, the American Legion, down on Route 8 South. Yeah, and they just can email me, okay. um, dianebedlin at gmail.com, D-I-A-N-E-B-E-D-L-I-N. Got that? <laughs> got gmail that. Com. At gmail.com. If they want to be on the, 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 the newsletter or have any questions, or if people are interested in being part of the, the farmer's market. Okay, wonderful, Diane. And I'm, I'm going to invite you back again in Yay. a month or so so we can hear more because it changes every time you come back. It seems like there's always always something new and you know it's it's interesting to hear what there is out there that people can go get they don't have to drive across the bridge to find some yeah, of the stuff no so <laughs> thank you so much thank you